Hey y'all, it's Monroe. I'm back and I'm here to um, do another book review and this book review is about Carolyn Sparks, How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire. Um, I guess I'll just start off with reading the back of the book. Nobody said love was perfect. Roman is charming, handsome, rich. He's also a vampire. But this vampire just lost one of his fangs, sinking his teeth into something he shouldn't have. Now he has one night to find a dentist before his natural healing abilities close the wound, leaving him a lopsided eater for all eternity. Things aren't going well for Shanna, either. <clears throat> After witnessing a gruesome murder, she's next on the mob's hit list, and her career as a dentist appears to be on a downward spiral because she's afraid of blood. When Roman rescues her from an assassination attempt, she wonders if she's found the one man who can keep her alive. Though the attraction between them is immediate and hot, can Shanna conquer her fear of blood to fix Roman's fang? And if she does, what will prevent Roman from using his fang on her? Um, I've never read this author before. I always love reading new authors. Just, um... It's just a different flavor. It's um, it's wonderful. But uh, I actually, one of my friends gave me this book. She had it for a while, um, and she gave it to me. She thought I might think it was funny. She um, and it was. It was very funny. Uh, it was a very light book. Um, it's funny because you know most paranormals that you read are are somewhat involved um, with a with the packs, with the, you know, the werewolves, the vampires, who's leading this or however, but, um, this one is very light, um, very funny, it's almost like a contemporary paranormal, um, Roman is the head of Roma Tech Industries, and, um, they make synthetic blood, um, he's a good vampire, he's, you know, a vegetarian vampire, he doesn't, uh, feed off of humans, um, and there is a gang of bad vampires who do, obviously, and um, they are against him, so they've tried to do everything they can to take him down. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how he breaks his fang, but it's, uh, it's pretty funny. Um, but anyway, so he does break one of his fangs, and he realizes that, you know, we all know vampires heal very quickly, so he needs to hurry up and fix it before... Um, before he heals and before the sun rises because he did it late at night. So um, they look for a 24 hour dentist and Shanna's dentist comes up, um, her, her place of business. So they end up going there. Um, Shanna's story is she witnessed a gruesome murder actually of her best friend in a restaurant. Um, she happened to get away. Um, she uh, is now in like the secret protection, um, and, uh, so she has a different name, she has a different life, um, but she's a dentist, well, ever since she's seen this, um, gruesome murder of her best friend, she's a, she's been afraid of blood. Well, so Roman comes in, um, they show her the fang, uh, and thinking he can kind of glamour her into fixing it, you know, kind of mind warp her into fixing it, um, but it doesn't work, and he doesn't understand why. And, um, and then all of a sudden the mob is coming in, and, um, so he ends up saving Shanna from that situation, and he takes her home, because he wants to know why, uh, how she can block him out, um, he kind of can't use his compulsion on her, um, so like I said, this is a very light book, uh, there's not a huge, huge plot, um, you find out a little bit about her family. There's some, um, not only the bad vam vampires coming after him, but, um, but the secret service type people coming after vampires in general. Um, it kind of all links back to Shanna. Um, this is not a deep book. This is a bring it to the beach book. Um, it'll make you laugh. You can put it down kind of easily. Um, it is a little steamy, but not on the scorching side. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's called How to Marry a, Vamp a Millionaire Vampire. Um, only because, really, she basically does... She 
turns from Roman. Um, she sees the kind of life that he lives, which is very old school vampire, um, which I haven't seen in, in books before. Um, but, um, and she turns from that, so she doesn't really want to be with him, so I'm not quite sure why it has her in a wedding dress and, and everything, but whatever. Um, it was good. It was funny. Uh, on the back it says it's an absolute delight. It was. Um, I probably give this book a 2.5 out of 5. Um, that's not bad. It's just, uh, I think I want to categorize it as a beach read. Um, so if you want something light, you're going on vacation and you know you're going to have to put it down a lot, this book is easy to put down and pick back up. Give it a try. Bye.